AP exams are right around the corner, but they're looking different than previous years. This year, 2021, has been a blend of both in-person and online testing and dates ranging from very early May all the way to mid-June. Tests will be given in their full three-hour formats for both in-person and online, but how will testing be run? Will the curves be different than previous years? Will paper pencil tests have, you know, an advantage over the online tests? And will paper pencil test students be put against online students? Well, stick around and subscribe too, because in this video, I'm going to give you a comprehensive review on all of the details and intricacies for in-person and online testing, as well as their pros and cons. Let's start with the format of the paper pencil tests. First, the dates of the in-person AP exams are in early and mid-May, administrations one and two, which is near the start of the schedule. The College Board has decided that schools which are choosing the regular format will be taking their exams first, which is likely due to a number of factors. It is what it is, but hey, at least you'll get over it quicker. Now, these traditional exams will be held in a facility with the full squad, test coordinators, proctors, hall monitors, you name it, they're there. Breaks are going to be given as usual, and you'll be able to grab that test and scribble all over that bad boy. Now, just one difference between previous year's paper pencil testing and 2021's is, not surprisingly, extra precautions that might be taken. Be sure to bring your mask just in case it's required or mandated by your school, and it's also safe for your sake and your schools to have hand sanitizer with you, wipes, or some other cleaning agent. Because you're going to be sitting and touching an object for three hours that other students probably also laid their hands over while sweating on what to do on their tests. So finally, be sure to bring all that usual equipment like you need, like those proper pencils, erasers, calculators, and whatever else it is you need to take your test. Now let's talk about the changes in the content of previous paper pencil AP exams compared to 2021 exams. Now you might be wondering, hey, if I'm taking my AP exam in person, it shouldn't it be the exact same as all the previous years? Well, that's mostly true, except for the content of some of the tests. For example, the AP language and composition multiple choice questions are changing this year, as will there be less questions now and smaller passages. However, many of these changes aren't due to COVID-19 pandemic, but they just result naturally from the College Board perfecting the exams, kind of like natural selection. So be sure to check your exam description on the College Board website or ask your teacher so you don't walk into the examiner on test day with a surprise awaiting you. Ooh, you'd rather be safe than sorry, right? Now let's switch gears to the online exam format. Tests taken virtually are going to be much different from not only the paper pencil exams, but also the 2020 AP exams that were held virtually last year. The first consideration is technology. Unlike last year, this year you can only take your AP exam with Windows or Mac computers or a school managed Chromebook. Pay close attention to the word school managed, because if you want to use a Chromebook, then you're going to need one administered from your school because there's specific software that you're going to need downloaded, like the lockdown browser. Even if you aren't using a school-managed Chromebook, you're going to have to get that software downloaded, so be sure to prep and try the AP exam sample test that is located on the College Board to make sure your tech is up and running. There's a couple other requirements that College Board requires devices to have, like what type of operating system you're using. So I put some links in the description below that have all these details that you can just go click, check, make sure your devices are all good. Now, the second big difference in the format of the digital AP exams is that you're not going to be able to go back to previous questions, both on the multiple choice and the free response. This is a game changer, as in the past, people have taken the liberty to choose the easiest or hardest questions to solve first and come back to the rest later. Now, you won't be able to do that anymore. Made a mistake and realized it too late? That's also not changeable. The final kind of major difference is that you won't be able to print out documents or switch tabs, but there's no reason to do those things if you've studied hard for the exams, right? The content of these AP virtual exams also differs a bit from their paper pencil counterparts by the course you're testing in. For example, the number of short answer questions on the AP US history exam changes if you're taking it online versus paper pencil. Once again, your teachers have probably explained you the content tested in the exam, but you should definitely ask if they haven't told you or have any questions. One additional note is that this year, all of the units from each course will be on the AP exam. In 2020, the last couple of units were cut from each class since College Board wanted to accommodate for schools that could not finish the curriculum due to emergency virtual learning. 
But this year, all topics from each course will be returning to normal. So make sure to study really hard so you can get through all the units to rack up those valuable points on the test. Now, before we wrap up the video, I want to make one statement about a really hot topic that many students love talking about, which is the curve. There's so much speculation about which type of test will be easier or which one you should take or you shouldn't take. And there's also weirder rumors like how the College Board is going to hack the internet and make all the searchable answers show like the wrong answer. But these are all obviously untrue and there's only one true rumor, which is studying makes you successful. We can't predict what's going to be on the test or what the curve will be this year. And those are things we can't change. However, the time spent mastering content, practicing multiple choice questions, practicing free response questions, those are what are going to get you those fours and fives. So let's work really hard and let's make 2021 an awesome and a five year. Anyways, I hope this video was able to gather together and present the details behind in-person and online AP exam testing alongside their pros and cons. Like the video, subscribe for more informational content like this, um, turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content, and until next time, see you later!